Hey guys, welcome back to be 2 here today. No, I did not just go through puberty. I'm actually extremely sick right now. That's why I haven't been uploading much. So I apologize. I know it probably sounds like I just got my first N-word pass. But it's actually just because I'm sick. So please excuse my terrible voice. But let's get into it. I'm going to try and keep this video pretty short today. For my own health and yours. Today, Infinity Ward just posted a new trailer. That there's a big new update coming tomorrow for COD Modern Warfare. We're finally getting the rest of the Season 1 content from the original launch trailer. So this includes Shipment, as well as Vacant, and a new mode drop zone as well. But that's actually not what this video is about. That's going to be tomorrow or the next day. I'll be taking a look at all that once I can get hands-on with the new maps. Today we're actually talking about what this means for further on in the season. And I'm going to be doing a little bit of, you know, none of this is confirmed. This is all my own opinion going off of information we have and the way the game has been so far and what myself and players sort of expect from the game now. Now, what do I mean by all that? Well, let's take a look at what we've had for content so far with Modern Warfare since launch. The game came out October 25th, and then two weeks later, not very long at all, we got Shoot House and Krovnik Farmland on November 8th. So that's two new maps, one of them a ground war map, which is much you know larger and more time intensive to create. We got both of those within two weeks after the game came out. And then if you jump ahead three weeks was the beginning of Season 1. December 3rd, we got another ground war map port, and we also got Crash and two gunfight maps. So if we kind of take a look at the way the content's been going, it's been two to three weeks, we get new maps or modes, and it's kind of every week we get something changes. So one week we had Infected. And the week before we had gun game, you know, like that, it sort of changes every week, uh, or it's either a new map or a new mode every time. So, the reason I'm saying all this is that, it, of course, tomorrow is only December 18th, the season still has seven weeks left, and I find it extremely hard to believe that these new maps we're getting tomorrow are supposed to hold us over for the next seven weeks for the entire season. I highly expect now that in the back half of the rest of season one, so make it, you know, three, maybe even four weeks from now, we might get more original maps, not these remakes, like we're getting vacant and shipment tomorrow, but then that obviously can't last us seven weeks if we're all now used to every two weeks we at least get a new map or something new to play. So it could be new remastered maps, but I find that a little strange because they probably would have included them in the season one content, you know, they would have already announced that they're remastering more. I think that we can expect new original maps, so something like Shoot House, a new original map on the back half of this season. So like I said, maybe three weeks from now. To me, that would make a lot of sense. I think that's what most people would expect. It would start to get pretty stale if we're playing with what we have right now and tomorrow's update for the next six or seven weeks. I would be very surprised if that's all that they had to add. So that's pretty much it, guys. I just wanted to sort of make this to speculate, kind of that, you know, if people were thinking, this is all we get for season one for the next, you know, two months. I, I highly doubt it. I would say maybe even a new weapon could roll in, but I think if they were going to do a new weapon, it would be on the pass or in the trailer. I would most likely expect new original maps. And as well as this, on the actual launch image, it does say, like, season content and launch dates subject to change. And they did even say in the original trailer that there may be more or less maps than what they've said. A lot of them say and more at the bottom, you know, the gunfight maps say and more, and Spec Ops also says and more. So I can say with pretty high certainty, at least with high hopes anyways, that we will get new original maps within the rest of the season. So these new big new update tomorrow, that'll last us two, three weeks, we'll be pretty happy, and then we'll start to get that itch for something new. And that's where I think new original maps might come. And hopefully they're not as bad as the launch maps and they're more like shipment. Hopefully Infinity Ward has started to learn that people aren't enjoying the original maps, but that people really love Shoot House, which I know Infinity Ward knows that much at least. So hopefully these new original maps, if we do get them, will be smaller, faster paced, and more fun. That is my hope anyways. Thank you guys for watching. This is just something for you guys to look forward to, I suppose. And tomorrow, if not tomorrow, the next day, I will be making a video about the new update. There's a new mode, two new maps. If you haven't seen the trailer, check it out. It's on YouTube right now or over on the Modern Warfare subreddit. And thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. I'm sorry my voice is pretty hard to listen to right now. I'm very sick, but I'm trying to get this content out. I do want to keep making stuff. I've been meaning to make 
a lot of videos. I still want to make a video about the Game Awards, but I am just on my ass sick right now. And uh, thank you guys anyways for watching. I appreciate it. And if I'm feeling better soon, I'll be streaming, so be feel free to check out my Twitch. Hopefully I'll be streaming the new content uh, in a couple days here when I feel better. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, all the links and everything are in the description. See you guys in the next one. Bye. <coughs> oh, God. <coughs> <coughs>